here. I hope you're having an amazing day today. Today I'm going to talk to you all about why I decided to leave Italy. So let's get started. All right, so this is obviously being filmed in my old apartment that feels weird saying because I'm sitting here right now in Rome and it's a beautiful day outside today. We're supposed to get 21 degrees. One week today I'll be moving. Not necessarily signing a lease or anything for the next couple of months, but I'm physically packing up all my things into their suitcases and leaving. So by the time you guys are watching this video, I will already be back in Canada. That's a big move. It's a big move for me. I've spent close to three years here in Rome and it's been absolutely incredible. There's probably a lot of you who found me through my content of being here in Italy, whether it be travel diaries, anything like that, but you know that Italy holds such a very special place in my heart and I'm going to try my best not to get emotional in this video because, <laughs> not gonna lie, I've been on a complete emotional roller coaster leading up to this move and now that it's one week away, I mean, I can only imagine what the next week is gonna look like because leading up to it, it's, it's been like this. I've done big moves before, I moved by myself on my own, not knowing anyone really from Vancouver Island to Toronto and then from Toronto to Rome where I literally knew no one. And this next move, I know where I'm going, I know people and I feel like really comfortable with this move but I mean let's talk about it, okay? Because as I know that I've told you guys that Italy is where I felt like I wanted to spend my life. I, I truly, truly, Felt that. Do I feel that right now? No, but I know that I'll come back to Italy. I know that I'll always come back to Rome. I know that Italy is probably going to be my favorite vacation destination for the rest of my life. One of them anyways. Why am I moving? I'm moving for a lot of reasons. There's a lot. Some of them right off the bat is that I'm Canadian. I don't have a European passport, so my permesso di soggiorno is going to be expiring. So I... I'm leaving because of legally I can't really stay here but also it's time I don't really know how to explain this feeling how to really give you enough examples to explain the series of events that have kind of happened to make this decision I made the decision in my mind in November I knew that before I was going off on the big trip that I went on where I left Italy for two, two and a half months, three months almost, I knew that I had to make a move. I, it was just something that I needed to figure out for myself and I didn't have any idea where I was going to move to. I just said that when I get on this plane, this is the answer I'm seeking when I go on this adventure. I'm leaving Rome, the city of my heart, the city of my soul, and I'm gonna figure out where I'm going to move. I got on the plane and I had all this, this mishaps happen. I wound up in Paris and I stayed with Cheryl for a couple of days. The airline I was on went bankrupt, kind of a, kind of a heyday, and I was like, oh my gosh, maybe this is my answer. Maybe I'm supposed to move to Paris. And I love Paris and I've always felt like I could live in Paris. It's a very livable city, there's lots of fun things to do, it's beautiful and I have friends there. Then I went to Toronto and every time that I go back to Toronto, I always just re-fall in love with the city a little bit and I had that feeling again and I was like, you know, maybe it's, maybe it's Toronto. Then I went to Costa Rica and I did ayahuasca and <laughs> you guys know, I bring it up all the time, but <laughs> I received a lot of guidance through that. Part of that guidance was where I need to move. I got my answer. Then I went back home to Vancouver Island and I saw my family and my friend and like my heart was just so full. And during this entire trip away from Rome, I was living so much in the present moment and just living so much through my heart that I didn't miss Rome the way that I had before. Like if you would have told me eight months ago that I was gonna have to leave Rome, leave Italy, I literally would have been fingernails, claws into the cobblestones, and I'd be like, I'm not leaving unless you're dragging me out of here horizontally because I've died. <laughs> like I am here forever. Like this is my place, this is my heart, this is everything. But somehow I learned to detach myself. And like I said, I lived so much in the moment that I didn't miss Rome. 
And when I came back to Rome in December, it was different. A completely different feeling. It's not to say that I didn't appreciate it, I wasn't in love with it. it all those feelings are still there for me. I still love Rome and I still love Italy, but it just felt like it's time for me to leave. I honestly, you guys, I'm, I'm sorry that I'm rambling here and I don't really have an answer for you, but legally I was going to have to make a move anyways. I always said I would do whatever it takes to stay in Italy, but somehow I just believe that my path is meant to be somewhere else right now. And as you guys know, I'm taking a course in life coaching this year. Part of that course needs to be done in person and I'm doing that in Canada. So that's a big shift for me. And I truly feel like this next chapter of my life is just really meant to learn how I can serve others better. And the place for me to learn how to do that and to begin doing it is in Canada. So yeah, I mean, I'm already in Canada by the time you guys are watching this. So hopefully I'm not too cold. <laughs> like I said, it's supposed to be 21 degrees today. I'm sure you guys have a lot of questions. Go ahead, ask, ask away. We can do a moving Q&A. Maybe you guys are wondering why I kept it a secret. I kept it to myself because I don't like goodbyes. I can be extra emotional. I know that I'm always coming back to Rome, like I said. I know I'm always gonna vacation in Italy. I don't plan on being away for longer than a year. Like I plan on visiting sooner than that. And it was a big decision for me, a huge decision for me. And I just felt like it's just a path that I needed to take on my own. I needed to make decision on my own. I needed to do the planning on my own without the influence of others. That's why I kept it to myself. It's a big thing and I just felt like I am my own best friend in this world and I truly really value the relationship I have with myself. So that's why I wanted me, myself and I to get ourselves on the path, onto the next chapter and figuring all that stuff out. I'm really, really looking forward to this next chapter of my life. Like I said, I think it's going to be a large focus on career and how I can better help and serve others. I'm excited. Of course, I'm sad to leave Rome. I'm not even going to mention how sad I am to say goodbye to my friends because that's where the waterworks is going to happen. That's the one thing I know I'm going to miss the most about Rome is the people. But, well, we're going to cut it off there because I'm already feeling a little bit emotional and I just thank you guys. I'm sorry for keeping it a secret if, if you felt like I kept something from you. But like I said, I just had to do it for myself. I will answer all your questions. Just please leave them down below. Anyways, I love you and I hope you're having an amazing day. Ciao.